public affairs broadcasting from Rockingham County Radio. On the air and on demand. RCR24.com. Good morning and welcome to Community Accents. I am Casey Vincent, the Executive Director for the United Way of Rockingham County. And our guest today is Paula Belton with the Eden Rescue Squad. But before I get to Paula, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the United Way of Rockingham County. We are an independent, nonprofit organization that works through community partnerships to help students be successful in school, make sure basic needs are met, keep our community safe and healthy, and ensure independence and dignity for the elderly. The United Way is not a top-down organization. We are not governed by any statewide or worldwide agency, nor do we receive any external funding. We are governed by a local board of directors who live and work right here in Rockingham County. The money raised for each annual campaign is allocated to human service programs throughout the community. We assist in funding 17 partnering agencies with 31 different programs and services. Most of you have seen the United Way advertisements, heard of United Way, and perhaps even participated in the United Way campaigns through your employment. Many of our United Way supporters have retired and no longer have the employee campaigns to participate in or the payroll deduction option. This has made it harder for us at the United Way to locate our loyal and past donors. Please know that we need your support now more than ever. If you have not received a mailing from the United Way office, it is because we do not have your contact information and do not know how to reach you. In today's world, we all have many philanthropic choices to choose from. We hope that when we make a donation, the money will make a difference in someone's life. With the United Way of Rockingham County, you can make that difference. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Casey. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Well, let's start with telling our listeners a little bit about yourself and then your role within the Eden Rescue Squad. Um, I've been with the Eden Rescue Squad for 23 years. I have went up in the ranks to lieutenant, captain, and now I'm the assistant chief over the volunteers of the Eden Rescue Squad. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's start with training because I know each of our rescue squad, you all train some things everybody across the board and then some of the rescue squads you specialize in something for the whole county so tell us about the Eden Rescue Squad. Uh, Eden Rescue Squad we specialize right now we want to uh, we do trench we do confined space uh, we do some high angle rescue and well I'm gonna stop you there for a second because people laugh when they hear that because we don't exactly have you know towers in Rockingham County but we do have cell phone towers and Duke Energy. So talk a little bit about that high risk. We do, and with Duke, when they switched over to the new technology that they have now, we used to go down and train on their old towers down mm -hmm. there. Uh, not just the towers, a high angle can also be slope rescue. So oh, you yes. still need to know how to do that. We mm -hmm. have had several vehicles that's went down slopes that we've had to do the technology of rigging ropes uh, to get our personnel down to where they are to be able to get the people out from where they're, down, they're in the vehicles down there. Absolutely, so it's a little more than just thinking tall buildings. It is, <laughs> it's a little more than just tall buildings. Well, what other trainings do you have? Uh, we do large animal rescue. We've gotten into that specialty also. Uh, Tuesday night we do training every week on something to keep our members up to date as far as ropes, knots, medical issues. Um, anything that, that we specialize in, we do try to get training within a quarter. Okay. Um, what role does the United Way of Rockingham County play in the programs and services for the rescue squads? It plays an absolutely large role. We couldn't function without the United Way help. Uh, it helps us a great deal as far as training our personnel to make sure that they are equipped with what they need, the knowledge and the, the technique to go out and help our community. We stay right here in our community. Um, it helps funding as far as keeping our services, the buildings, the trucks available for transports and stuff. Okay. 
are you required to um, provide us supporting documentation to show what you do with our funding? Yes, we do. <laughs> we do. Accordingly, we, we send y'all documentation on, on what we've done, where we're at, and how many members we have. Mm -hmm. um, for our listeners that may not be aware, all of the agencies have to turn in these quarterly reports, but the rescue squads are a little different because of your service calls and the anonymity that your patients require. We had to develop an entire report just for the rescue squads. Yes, we did. <laughs> so you guys are wonderful in making sure we get those numbers. Um, what is the sustainability in the rescue squads without our funding? What, what would it look like around here if you didn't have United We would Life not funding? have the equipment or uh, we wouldn't even have the personnel that we have right now probably because we wouldn't have the training, uh, be able to afford the training for them. Um, the equipment is the biggest thing um, mm -hmm. and maintaining the trucks, keeping them up to date on everything that they need to be. Uh, uh, kept up. Uh, kept up. Uh, um, <laughs> One of the things that I really want our, our public to understand is the importance of the rescue squads in Rockingham County. Based on our population, we're short EMS buses. I mean, I don't think that that's a secret in the county. Um, we're a very large rural area. Uh, we do not have enough EMS buses. The county could basically not afford to purchase and man the buses that would be required based on our population. So the rescue squads are extremely important for Rockingham County. Um, both Eden and Reedsville and your specialties. But I also point out sometimes, you know, and over in Western Rockingham, the Madison Rockingham Rescue Squad, that's after hours medical care completely. I mean, there's yes. no, at least in Eden and Reedsville, we have the hospital that y you can transport to and that, you know, people can get to. But over in Western Rockingham, the rescue squad tends to be, if, it, if there's an emergency after hours, they're the only medical help they, they can reach out to. Right, they are. Um, typically, how many volunteers, you mentioned, uh, I also want to stress that a large portion of all three rescue squads are volunteer based. Over the years, you have hired, um, different rescue squads have hired either part-time or maybe one full-time person, but for the most part, they are 100% volunteer. They are. That you, you all have full-time jobs, families, and then you volunteer typically your time for the rescue squads. Uh, how many volunteers do you have within the Eden Rescue Squad? Uh, right now, we have an average, we run between 18 to 26 volunteers. Uh, we are needing volunteers all the time um, to help because people work different shifts, so mm -hmm. people are available at different times. Mm -hmm. uh, so the more volunteers we have, the better coverage that we can do. I do. I have also seen for the rescue squads, the volunteer fire departments across the county, you're, you're all hurting for volunteers. We There's are. been calls for people to really, so I want to stress to, to the listeners, if you have the time, please consider volunteering and working. If you'd like to help people, come out to the rescue squads, get the training, be there to help. Absolutely, even if you just want to come out and see what we are about. come. We have uh, training every Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Come out, we'll show you what we do, show you our equipment and how it operates. We have training classes here on Tuesday night with our volunteers. Um, we welcome anyone to come just to see what we do. Okay. Can you give us a couple of scenarios of what the routine would be like when you receive a call from 911? Uh, the 911 call would come out over the radio, which you just heard a few <laughs> minutes ago. Um, and personnel, depending on if they're in their personal vehicle, they may run the call from there. If they hear at the building, they, depending on what type of call it is, they may take the Suburban or they may take an ambulance if they've got enough people to man it. What type of calls do you get most frequently through 911? Mostly it's medical calls, a lot of medical calls that we get that we run. Cardiac, strokes, um, just sick personnel. Okay. Um, we were talking kind of before the show came on about the, uh, the opioid crisis here in the county. Do you answer calls for that as well, for overdose we calls? Do. They are classified Absolutely. as a medical call. Yes, they are classified as a medical call. And just so our listeners are aware, just like all of the sheriff's departments and all the police departments, you also carry Narcan. We do. Okay. Um, what is a typical call like? Let's say from the moment it comes over, and let's say it's a typical medical call, kind of, you, you said that if you leave from here, what do you do? Are you typically there before EMS? Are you there instead of EMS? Kind of how does that work? It just depends on where EMS is at the time. They may be 10 minutes out, so we may mm -hmm. be the first personnel on the scene. So we try to take care of the patient until uh, advanced life support can get there if they're needed. 
um, talking about they could be 10 minutes out. You know, we've already mentioned the, 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 how spread out Rockingham County is, how rural it is, and our limited EMS. I know that if EMSs are out on call, for example, I'm gonna give you, I will tell our listeners a personal story that involves the Eden Rescue Squad. Um, there had been a major wreck out on 220 over in Maidan, mm. near the Walmart, but on 220. And so they had several EMSs over in that direction that pulled some of Eden that way. So the, one of the EMS buses in Reedsville was parked at Stone Store right. because they tried to move to a central place in case another call comes in. And I'm sitting behind my desk at work and I get a phone call from my four-year-old's daycare that he is not breathing, he appeared to be choked, his lips were turning blue and they had already called 911. And it was Trinity Wesleyan down here. And I jumped up from behind my desk and <clears throat> got in my car and took off. Uh, Eden Rescue Squad obviously beat me there. You're much closer than I was. Um, but I beat EMS there. By the time I got there, you guys, and I'm, I'm not even sure who responded, with the, uh, the volunteers, but they had cleared his throat and he was sitting up and he was talking and he had a little oxygen mask on his face and he was fine. And you guys had already cleared him. I'm standing there talking to you about what could have caused it and EMS drove by twice before they pulled in the parking lot. And I'm not f faulting them at all. They, were, they are do doing the best that they can do, but it is one of the issues when you're pulling from across the county and you don't necessarily know your area. Yes. It was a Reedsville EMS. They did not recognize that the daycare was behind the church. So they passed the church not realizing that that was where the daycare was because it is a church daycare. Yes. And so, but you guys being there, who knows what would have happened with him if Rescue Squad had not responded. So, you know, from my now nine-year-old, I thank you very much. <laughs> and, and that's where the funding goes. It helps uh, to support this so we can be there for the community when calls come out. Absolutely. <laughs> um, what are the costs and fees to the recipients, to the, the people who have used your services? What costs do they incur? As far as Eden Rescue goes, there is no cost. We do not charge anybody for anything. We do take donations if they are available. If not, we do not charge them anything. Well, talking about taking <clears throat> donations, and, and obviously we do support you, but you have your own fundraiser. All of our agencies, unfortunately, it is the times in which we live. Um, all agencies are having to host their own fundraisers. You have one coming up, don't you? We do. Or going on right now. We do. We have a gun raffle that's going on right now, so if you'd like to get into it, just give us a call. Uh, we do have to do the fundraisers because it does cost more money than, unfortunately, United Way is getting in mm -hmm. um, to sustain this facility and this organization. So, yes, we do have a gun raffle that's going on right now. And I make sure I get my tickets before I leave. Yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the, the patient or the, the client that calls doesn't incur any services. Do you do transport from hospital to hospital or transport from hospital home or those type situations for, for people? We do, and we have. Um, we are starting to have a transport service in the near future. Uh, but if somebody needs to be transported, and, and a lot of times they'll get in contact with us, and if we've got personnel, we'll, we'll set it up to transport them back home or wherever they need to be transported. We have on occasionally a Rockingham community person may be out of state uh, and something happened, they get sick and need to be transported back. We have done that on occasion. Gone and gotten them as well. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> um, well, along those lines, so for the most part, individuals have to live within the county um, to receive help from the rescue squads. Yeah, and in most part, unless something like that comes up, then and, sp special circumstances, we, we will help out if we can. And we did, we also talked a little bit about um, natural disasters. Well, tell us a little bit about what happened kind of maybe with Matthew or another one that you may have been participating in. On several of the hurricanes, they have put us on standby because we do have the Swift Water Rescue Team within the county and uh, when some of those come up we will go down and help out other states other communities uh, when they have natural disasters like that so it, it may be at the governor's request or it the is. community's request you guys will go and assist um, i know the madison rockingham rescue squad has a very important piece of equipment when it comes to some type of sonar that they use for they do. rescue okay. in, within the water absolutely yes. Um, what is kind of the, do you see as the greatest critical need that you've seen throughout the county? What's, what's the biggest need that you've seen? 
more more ambulances, mm -hmm. more volunteers is one of the biggest needs that we need. Uh, even with ju rescues, Madison, Reedsville, um, here in Eden, we all need. Anybody wants to volunteer, come please. We'll be more than welcome. Yeah, absolutely. I've had conversations with both um, Steve Bowles over in Madison Rockingham and Joel uh, Madron over at the Reesville Rescue Squad. A lot of your volunteers are advancing in age. They are. Um, we do <laughs> and it's not quite as easy as it used to be to climb down that hill and get into that car. Right. <laughs> You're true. It is true. And some of those, they can do other things mm -hmm. up at the top of the hill instead mm -hmm. of going down. The younger ones is the ones that we need so we can get them trained so they can do the work that the older ones used to do. And I know, you know, it seems to me that it would be exciting for these young people to, to look. We talk a lot about um, the young people maybe not necessarily having the income to be able to financially support some of our service organizations, but looking for opportunities to, to give their time. And I think the, the rescue squads would be a valid, very important place that they could look at doing that. Absolutely. Um, I started out, like I said, 23 years ago, uh, got a lot of training and a lot of knowledge from just being in the Eden Rescue Squad. Wonderful. How are the rescue squads different from EMS? We've talked kind of about EMS being, you know, they're a county function, but how are the rescue squads different? Uh, Rockingham County is a paid organization. They are paid by the county. We are volunteer. All the rescue squads are volunteer organizations. Okay. Um, with, do you do the same things? Uh, can, can EMS do the things that the rescue squads can do? EMS can do as far as they are advanced medical. They have paramedics on their trucks. They can do more than what some of the rescue squads can do. We are basic life supports. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as specialties go, as far as the high angle or the swift water rescue, uh, then the rescue squads are more certified in those. So it's, it kind of goes back to the, the EMS is more of a medical of types. You, you all do everything right. <laughs> to the best of your abilities. Yes. But specialty, EMS is more of a medical type call because they can do more with medication, more with life yes. sustaining action. But you guys are the rescue piece of that. So when there's car accidents and things, you guys are the ones that yes. get people out of the car yes. and, and get people out of the water. Absolutely. Um, what other information would you like to share with our listeners concerning the rescue squads and, and what your needs are and what they could do to volunteer or help? Um, any donations, volunteering, come out, just see what we do. We're, like I said, we're here every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. Anyone is welcome to come in, set in on a class, um, ask for a tour of the facility. Uh, we do have daytimers during the week uh, from 8 to 5. Uh, if you can't come by on Tuesday night, come by then. They don't mind showing you around and letting you see what's going on if like, they're not out on a call. Well, I can tell you, they, they actually love to show people around. Yes, they, they love do. to show the equipment. They love to explain what they do to people, um, for people. And it would just be wonderful if you're interested in coming out and potentially being a volunteer. And that goes the same for all of the rescue squads. If you live in a, the western part of the county, contact Madison Rockingham. Um, they probably have training on a different night. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> but contact any of the rescue squads. They would love to talk to you about what they do. Well, thank you for being with us today, Paula. Thank you, we Casey, appreciate for it me. very I appreciate much. It. Again, the United Way of Rockingham County needs your support. We need you now more than ever. You may ask, how can I help? Will my dollars really make a difference? Your donation to the United Way helps numerous lives in Rockingham County. The United Way invests local dollars in 31 local programs and services to meet local needs. These programs generate sustained impact in our community, focusing on education, financial stability, and health and safety. Programs are monitored and evaluated by a committee of local community members to ensure that donors' dollars are making a positive impact. Through this transparency, you know exactly where your money is invested and the effect it has on our local Rockingham County community. Your United Way needs your support. Rockingham County needs you. Your loose change can make change happen. Every second of every day, a life is being impacted with United Way dollars. For the father who has lost his job and needs to put food on the table for his children, make change happen. 
For the mother whose son does not have life insurance and needs medical care, make a difference in someone's life. For the elderly who can no longer cook for themselves and need a meal, make change happen. For the student who is beginning to struggle in school, make a difference in someone's life. For the family who has an uninsured loved one in need of end-of-life care, make change happen. For the young mother who needs to escape danger for herself and her children, make a difference in someone's life. For the unexpected emergency requiring rescue services at home, at work, on the road, in the water, or in the woods, make change happen. Please consider giving to the United Way of Rockingham County. Regardless of the amount, your gift will make a difference in your local community. For additional information on how to support your community, you may contact the Rockingham County United Way office at 336-342-7768. That's 336-342-7768. You can also donate through our secure website at www.uwrockingham.org. You can give by check, cash, online, credit, or debit card. Rockingham County United Way is a 501c3 charitable organization. Contributions are tax deductible. Thank you for listening to the United Way of Rockingham County segment of Community Accents.